leash. I had a thing too big, but that hoe would answer too much. She made it hard to keep it. I had a menage with had a garage What's up, guys? It's your boy, Carol Miss Rockoff Johnson, here with another video. Uh. I know I already look hot. It's because this is still the same day as the uh, photo shoot. Got my <laughs> got my brother right there. We got Shy right here. How you doing, Shy girl? Yeah. <laughs> but they're actually about to go. We were just chilling and everything like that. I'm say just hanging out. But um, so this is gonna be a whole different video. Um, we going out tonight. I'm not doing any racing or nothing like that. But I am, are you okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, you're good. You good? Oh, it's hot. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's like 97 degrees out here. By the way, if you haven't seen a, a video for the photo shoot, go ahead and check it out. It should be popping up there or on the other side. Something like that. But, um, but yeah, I'm not doing any racing tonight because I just got the car back. Literally last night. I haven't even had the car 24 hours yet. And I just, I just want to chill out and just, you know, enjoy the car right now. But... What we're about to do, because I just realized I haven't done it in a while, is empty my catch can. Because in case you can't see, uh, it's kind of filled up and oil was coming out, which of course isn't good. So I need to empty it. Uh, this is the full blown Motorsports uh, oil uh, catch can. And in case you can't see, in case you're not familiar with my car, this is a 2014 Scion FRS. Uh, it is turbocharged. Uh, just Got put on E85. That's why I didn't have my car. Um, that's why I'm saying I just got it back because it was out getting uh, E85. It's built by Pure Automotive Performance. Here we go. Pure Automotive Performance. Out here in Millersville, Maryland. Uh, they have the world's fastest and quickest uh, FRS. I think it runs like 179 at like in like 8 seconds or something like that. I don't know. It's something absolutely disgusting. Uh, and it's a built motor. Stock trans. Upgraded axle. Half gutted. And on tire because I raced this. All right, now that I just gave that explanation on what this car is, um, again, it's the full blown motorsports catch can, and I'm about to go ahead and empty it. By which I don't know what the fuck I'm doing because I don't do a lot of stuff myself because I mean, I don't have a garage, I, I live out on the street, like I just I don't have a garage or a parking pad or anything like that. So all the cars are just here on the street, that's mine too, and that truck, but um. Yeah, so I'm going to try to jack it up here because it looks like how you empty this. And I haven't watched any videos on it or anything like that. I'm just using common sense and my basic knowledge of working on cars. But I think there's a plug down there. A screw, of course. And I'm just going to drain it from the bottom. Ugh. And I just got to get under there first. Um, my car is lowered. Um, I think it's an inch and a half inch and three quarters there and an inch and a half in the back um so i can't get my jack under the front of it so yeah that's the thing so i'm gonna jack it up from this side see ya and i'm gonna try to jack it up from the other side but yeah let's go ahead and get into it all right so um sweaty mess right now i just wiped my head but i'm a sweaty mess uh just jack the car up so i'm on jack's now right now i gotta go do the other side but this is killer, man, because I'm kind of, you can't see it really, but I'm kind of, well, can you? I uh, can't really, but it's kind of, this street is kind of like on a, on an incline, so like, a, it's a slight, it's at a slight grade of a hill, which of course is dangerous, but I mean, this is what I got to do out here, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jack up the other side and just keep going from there, I guess. So fucking hot out here though. It's it's I don't know if I said it before. It's like 95, 97 degrees right now, which is just oh my gosh. And it's only uh five o'clock. Come on now, shouldn't the sun be going down? Alright, so about five minutes and one IG picture later, um I'm now under my car. Uh for the first time I've been in a while and um uh Huh. Looks pretty cool. Certain things have changed, others haven't. Oh, look at that oil there. I'm spilling from the catch can. That's right up there. And you know what I'm just realizing? Oh, fuck. Are you serious? I'm just realizing. Um, I don't have anything. To, I didn't know that nut was that big. 
But that means I gotta do it from the top. Fuck, man, I'm just wasting my time doing this. No, it's not a waste. It's not a waste. Ugh. It's just, shit happens, I guess. <sighs> shit, I gotta. All right, so, um, as you can see, kind of got a freestyle on this guy. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna take that off. And I'll take it off of this. So undo those Allen keys there. Because I think I have something that says. And I'll undo those two. That's probably the way you're supposed to do it anyway, but I mean, how the fuck was I supposed to know? All right, guys, so let me tell you something real quick, okay? So I'm actually pretty pissed right now that I did that. It's such a rookie move. Before you do anything to your car, unplug the fucking battery, okay? I'm gonna tell you why. I I got my wrench here. And actually, I got the piece for the Allen key, and I was gonna start trying to undo it, but it was tight in there, so I went to try to like maneuver myself, and I hit the negative fucking terminal, and I just electrocuted myself, honestly. Um, oh my God, just. Don't be a dumbass like me. Un unplug the battery, which I'm about to do after I make sure that like the cell isn't completely fried in my battery. Oh, you guys can hear me start up on E85. Still good. All right, so just giving you guys an update. I did unplug it and everything, as you can see. I'm loosening these now, and it's a four in the Allen keys. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know if like there are different ways of measuring that. Like, yeah, I don't know. I know only some places use the metric system and everything, and I don't know if there's like another. Y'all get what I'm saying, man. Y'all get what I'm saying. I probably sound stupid right now. But I'm just worried about getting this. Oh, God, I got so much stuff to do. I got to worry about getting this real quick so I can hurry up and meet up with everyone so we can go out and see some racing tonight. But, yeah, back to what I was saying, that's a four. So I think this is exactly what you were supposed to do, was to undo that and these. Um, I don't know what size that is because this backyard garage, like I said, so I don't have all those nice fancy tools and whatnot. But um, I had these, and I didn't strip it or anything like that, but I just turned it like a couple times you know just break it and it it comes right off um so yeah i'm just gonna spin those off i need to hit that one more time but i'm just gonna spin those off and then i'll take these off i just i just slightly loosened it just so i can make sure that it was the right size and it and it could actually like go but yeah these are just can just spin right off I'm spinning that one off now might spoil some oil out Oh shit, I just realized I'm taking that off and I didn't get my little oil container from out of there. Just remember kids, whenever you're doing oil changes and checking your oil catch cans and everything like that, use a, use a container, don't just put it like in your grass in a grease spot in the backyard or something like that. I mean, we've never done that nor will we ever do that. But um, yeah, just, just use, use a container, it's an empty oil container from when Lowe changed his um, oil. Uh, it's my homeboy, he has a 5 Mustang, we changed his oil and yeah. Uh, so. Just remember that. Just remember that. Keep that in mind, cause you don't want the government to come at you. To come, to come at you. Come at me, bro. I said, come at me, bro. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the fuck that was. Anyway, all right. So now that we got the oil feed lines out of it and everything, this is how it looks. When it's out the car, I see there's a bolt back there, by the way, and I know there's a bolt back there, but I don't have anything to get back there. Uh, I need to get me like a little, a little wrench set, um, cause all my wrenches are like mid size, cause I got like one of those old cheapo sets. But yeah, um, now that the oil feed lines are out of it and everything. I'm gonna go ahead, of course, put this oil in that oil can there. Well, empty oil can. I'm gonna give it like AutoZone or Pet Boys, cause I think they take it for free and whatnot. Um, but yeah, now y'all can see though, that is huge, it's humongous. I don't know what that could be. I tried to put my 17 on it, and that was nowhere near what it is. So, yeah, I don't know what that could be. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. 
So, um, I noticed a change of pace right now because now someone's holding the camera. I got my brother holding the camera. Just got done uh, dropping off shot, but uh, a couple, not a couple, a lot of screaming and demonetizing cuss words later. Um, I spilled oil on my fucking hirachis. All right, so I usually don't wear my nice shoes and shit, but like, you know what I'm saying? I got the Harashis on, just know I had the photo shoot earlier, and I spilled some fucking oil on it. But anyway, um, and oil just everywhere, in case you can't see my tool bag as well. Look, look down at the tool bag over here. <laughs> there's, there's oil in the tool bag. And you wanna know what I'm mostly mad about? The fact that it was completely my fault? Because of course I'm emptying this because it was overflowing, right? So that means there was a lot in there, right? Um, by the way, uh, I measured it with that can there that's now full of oil. Uh, old oil and everything like that. Again, throw that out. You don't want to. You don't want to reuse that or anything like that. Uh, it's close to a quart of oil that was in here, but um, which is way too much. Uh, I should have emptied it a long time ago. But um, the whole reason why I did it was because, for some reason, as I was putting down the camera. No, no you don't have to do it. No, You're holding he... the camera. <laughs> as I was putting down the camera, I went to scratch my head like this, and the fucking oil came right out of there. Mm. And I was just like, oh shit. Fuck! I like I'm not think about it. If I'm doing this, how the fuck did it get on my shoe? Oh, that's how. Yep, I did it just like that. I went down like that, and there's nothing in it now. But I went down like that, and I was like, shit! Got all in my. <laughs> what I say before? We backyard garage out here. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this shit happened. But whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and put this annoying some bitch back on. Why the fuck couldn't this plug just be? A lot more user friendly. Like, this could have been like a like a like a something that everyone has, like a 14 mil or something. Like why the fuck did I could just drain it from <laughs> Alright, so one hot sweaty man later. Um everything's all buttoned up and we all good in the hood and whatnot and everything. So um so yeah, every everything's great. I mean I'm Guys, I'm hot. I'm hot. I need to go in the house and take a shower before I head back out. Um, but yeah, the only thing now that I need to do is just get it off the jack stands, get off the jack, and that's it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys missed me doing the videos where we're just working on the cars ourselves. Um, I definitely like making them, honestly. They're fun. I wish I could do so much more, but if I got another project car, I could. Wink, wink, hint, hint. But, um... But yeah, and as always, guys, I'm sorry, I was looking at something. You ever like look at your car, and it looks like there's a scratch, but it's it's not. That's just the lighting. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I was geeking for a second. But um, as always, guys, you know, merch link is in the description below. Um, and go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the video that's I'm filming tonight that's going to come out some other time. <laughs> and as always, guys. You stay classy, stay positive, and have a good day. Yeah. What is a car enthusiast? An individual that loves anything to do with cars and its counterparts. And one who can talk for hours about cars and not get tired of it.